So before we touch down, the nose will need to be pointed down the center line. Again though, the wind wants to push us off, so we'll need to account for that too so that at the time we touch down, we're on the center line, moving parallel with the center line, with the nose pointed down the center line. At some point, this requires us to come out of our crab approach. There's two ways to do this. First of all, as we approach on final in this crab with the nose pointed left into the wind, we can align the nose of the center line right away. First by using right rudder to move the nose to the right, and then by using left aileron to bank the wings into the wind. Most of the time we're taught to move the rudder and ailerons the same way, but this time we're doing the opposite, using rudder away from the wind and aileron into the wind. This is called a side slip. If this seems a bit like walking and chewing gum at the same time, that's okay. Just remember that the rudder is used to point the plane parallel with the center line. The aileron is used to keep your butt over the center line. If the aircraft nose swings left or right, we can use rudders to realign with the center line. If the aircraft drifts to the left or right of the center line, we'll adjust our aileron input to correct. It takes a lot of trial and error to find the right amount of rudder input to hold yourself parallel, as well as the right amount of aileron to keep your butt over the extended center line. But one major advantage of this method of approaching is that we're already positioned for the landing touchdown. Let's compare this to the second method. This time, we're gonna keep our crab in from most of the approach. We're not concerned with keeping the nose pointed down the runway. We're only looking to keep our butts on top of the extended center line. 